Hello, in this video we're going to go over how to use the MetaHuman Animator which allows us to record facial capture performance from our phones which we can then use in our games or cinematic projects. To get started, you need to be using the latest version of Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine version 5.2 and if you just go over to the Epic Marketplace you need to make sure that you have the MetaHuman plugin installed to Unreal Engine version 5.2 so if you just go to this page and go install to engine and then just install it to your engine. Then once you've done that, you just need to enable the plugin. So if you go over to edit, then go to plugins. And then if you look for MetaHuman, I've already enabled this plugin, but just check it. And then you'll probably have to restart your Unreal Engine editor. You're gonna need to install the LiveLink app. So this only works if you have an iPhone and it's recommended that you have the iPhone 12 or above. I'm using an iPhone 11 and it still worked well. Then you just want to go over to the App Store and then in the search look for Live Link. And here it is, Live Link for Unreal Engine. Just install this app and as you can see it allows us to kind of create facial animations using our phone. Once you have the app, open it up and just select MetaHuman Animator. So I'm seeing this warning sign because I'm using an iPhone 11 and it recommends to use an iPhone 12 or above. But I'll just click continue and I'll just open up the app and here's where we can record our facial animations. Once you have the app open, if you just go to settings and click preview depth, it's recommended when you're recording, you kind of want the preview depth to have a clear background and you want your face to be grey. If you're too close to the camera, it'll kind of go black. You kind of want your face to be grey and have a clear background. And for the MetaHuman animator to work correctly, it's recommended that you record a calibration tape where you have your face in a neutral position, like this. And also, in that same take, make sure that your face shows all of your teeth. So you go into a position where your face is showing all your teeth, like this. It's also recommended, when you're recording with the app, to use a tripod mount or a head-mounted stereo. I didn't have any of these, so I just used my hand, but it's recommended that you use one of these devices. So to record a take, we can just go here. This will basically show us where all our takes are. And then I'm just going to record a calibration take. So I've now exported the videos that I recorded on my phone with the Live Link app to a folder on my computer. Once you've done this, just open up your content drawer and I'm just going to right click, create a new folder and just call this MetaHumans. Then if I head inside here, we just want to right click, scroll down and look for the MetaHuman animator and then select Capture Source. This will basically allow us to reference the um, recorded material that I just made. And if I just double click and open it up, we want to go to Capture Source and then select Live Link Archives. This will basically allow us to reference any um, offline recorded videos that I've made. We can do it live as well, but I've not done it that way. So for the storage bar, just select the um, folder on your computer where your recorded videos are. So I'll select that folder, save this and then close it. Then we want to go over to Tools and to Capture Manager. Then select the new MetaHuman Capture. This will basically show me the videos that I recorded. Select both of them and then just go Add to Queue. And then we just want to click this Import All Takes from Queue. Okay, so it's successfully done that. If I just close this and go back to my content drawer, there'll be a new folder for um, the takes that's made. And we're now ready to kind of convert our video to be used as a MetaHuman facial animation. So to get started, if we just right click and then we want to go MetaHuman Animator and select MetaHuman Identity, this will kind of allow us to create a MetaHuman from our video that we just made. And I'm just going to select my calibration footage. Okay, so it has loaded up my video and you just want to find a frame in your video where you're in a neutral pose. And then just go Add Trackers. This will add trackers around your face. It will use this to kind of create a metahuman for you. And then we just want to go to body and select a body for um, your character. So I'm just going to select this body. Then we just want to go metahuman identity solve. Okay, once you've done that, you'll be able to see the metahuman it created from your face. So if I click the speed button, I'll see the metahuman it made. Pretty accurate. And if I click this um, view mix mode, I can kind of toggle it. So if I just move this down, we'll see the original video. And I can just move this slider to kind of see the MetaHuman that I made. Pretty cool. Yep, 
Then, if we just go over to Mesh to MetaHuman, then select Auto Rig Identity, and I'll just select this one. And this will create a version of my MetaHuman on the MetaHuman Cloud app. Okay, so it's done that. I'll be able to access this MetaHuman in the MetaHuman Creator. And then if you want to add accurate teeth poses for your MetaHuman, if we just select the pose and then go add, add pose and then go add teeth. And then I'm just going to move this to the frame where I'm showing my teeth. Okay, so I've done that. And if I just go promote to frame for tracking, so once you've done this, we're now ready to use our videos for MetaHuman facial performances. So if you just click this prepare for performance button, and it can take kind of a while, so I'm just gonna fast forward. Then after we've done all of that, inside of our MetaHuman folder, if we just right click and go to MetaHuman Animator, then select MetaHuman Performance, and I can just call this my performance test one, and then if I head inside here, for footage capture data, I'm gonna select my um, I'm gonna select the second piece of footage that I made. And then for my meta human identity, I'm gonna select the meta human identity that we just made. So this animation has 148 frames. Here we can specify the frames we basically want to make our meta human identity do. I'm just gonna leave this at all the frames. So here, maybe you only want it to do frames 20 to 40. That's where you'd specify this. Then we just click the process button and we'll start processing our video onto our MetaHuman. Okay, so that is loaded and I can kind of play it. So I just click the play button. I am a MetaHuman. So pretty cool. With that, we have used our video to record facial performance capture animation for the MetaHuman. Then the final thing we can do with this is export it so we can use it elsewhere in our game or cinematic projects. To do that, we can just click the export animation button. It will ask us where we want to export it. I'll just export it here and I'll just go save. So the export settings, I can control the head movement. And if I want to change the target mesh, I'm just going to leave this as my um, default meta human. And I'll just create. So if I just double click and open it up, here's my exported animation. And that's pretty cool. And that's all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.